Hi guys, today I'll be taking a look at a click jacket switch, the Altima Gold. Let's get started. Now, the Altima Gold is said to be an improvement version of the Altima Blue switch, but as you'll later find out, that's not exactly true. Now, pricing wise, these are about £3.70 for 10 switches on AliExpress, which places these at the budget end of the price bracket. And this is what they look like when disassembled, feel free to pause the video. Now, let's move on to the switch categories. On center key presses are somewhat scratchy for some switches when pressed slowly, but are otherwise quite smooth. Off center key presses, however, are pretty scratchy all around, with some being scratchier than others, so yes, inconsistencies are present here. Overall, I'm not pleased with them, I would avoid these, but they aren't the worst out there. 4 out of 10. Now, according to this AliExpress listing, these switches have a 58 gram operating force and is once again said to be an improvement version of the Altima Blue switch. However, from what I can feel, they don't feel like they operate at 58 grams, it feels like they operate anywhere between 45 to 50 grams, so take that spec with a grain of salt. Now, let's talk about its tactility, or rather the lack thereof. Remember, this is more or less just a reskinned Altima Blue, so it isn't really any much better tactility-wise. Very disappointing. Overall, I'm not entirely sure who this is for, it just seems like a waste of resources to me, but maybe I'm missing something here, you guys let me know if I am. 5 out of 10. Now, before I move on to sound, I need to mention something. The last click jacket switch I looked at was the Altima Teal over a year ago on my old GK61 keyboard. But why am I even telling you this? Well, the reason is because the Altima Gold is the first click jacket switch I'm reviewing on this particular keyboard. Plus, sound was the most affected category when I switched to this newer keyboard, so keep that in mind. Anyway, back to the sound. These sound absolutely atrocious. Now, that's mainly because this keyboard is catered towards bringing out the clackiness of switches. However, click jacket switches are already quite high pitched and plasticky to begin with, so of course in this keyboard those aspects are greatly amplified, and it doesn't sound any good at all. Overall, I wouldn't want to use this keyboard for anything and I'm glad they aren't a popular choice. Let's keep it that way. 3 out of 10. Now, take a listen and enjoy. Now, when it comes to smoothness and weighting, they aren't too shabby when actually typing at normal speeds, but the lack of smoothness does become a slight issue at slower speeds. However, there are times where the switches actuate without clicking, which becomes annoying as that defeats the whole purpose of clicky switches. Additionally, the overall key feel is mushy and inconsistent, which makes for an unsatisfying typing experience. Not to mention it causes a lot of typos too. Overall, these felt very off and unrefined, much like the Altima Blue it's supposedly improving upon. 4 out of 10. Now, it does fare a touch better when it comes to gaming, but not by much. It still has some of the issues that were present in typing, like the mushiness and the lack of refinedness, but I would say those aren't as important when it comes to gaming. However, the major downside is the click after each key press. It becomes annoying very quickly, especially since I wear open back headphones for gaming now. So yes, I can hear the switches with every single movement I do in game. And don't forget, they don't sound any good either. Overall, you can game with them, yes, but I don't know why you would, honestly. You can do much better by spending the money on something like the Kale Box Whites instead. 5 out of 10. 
In conclusion, these are Altima Blues with a different name with ever so slightly different specs that most people wouldn't notice or care about. Or in simpler terms, absolute rubbish. The final score for this Switch is 21 out of 50 or 42%, making this one of the worst Switches I've reviewed. And that's the end of the review, next time I'll be looking at some new and exciting Switches. Until then, take care and goodbye.